This video is for any touch player who's ever wondered how the hell you're supposed to hold your phone in this game. Like, if I'm two thumbs, should I put my buttons here or here? Or do I need three fingers? But then where do I put this? Ah, I don't bloody know. Well, wonder no more, because in this video, I'm going to show you touch control layouts and hand cams from three incredibly talented touch players. A freestyler you all know as Jelly, a top 10 duels and doubles player, and one of the all-time best players in the world. So get ready, you're about to get touched. Alright, that sounded much better in my head. Um, <laughs> anyway. The first touch layout we're going to look at is from Jelly Boy. Jelly is a champion ranked freestyler who is by far one of the most talented mechanical players I have ever seen. He's responsible for creating a ton of new mechanics in the game, some of which have been shown in my Mechanic Showcase series, and he's just, well, insane. Here's a breakdown of Jelly's touch control style. He uses a traditional four finger claw style on a smartphone. It's a five button layout with joystick, jump, boost, booster jump, and the hidden half air roll button. On the left hand, the thumb is on joystick, and the index finger is in the top left corner on jump. Then on the right hand, the thumb is used for boost and booster jump, and the index finger is on half air roll. Here's a live demo of Jelly in action. As you can see, Jelly uses a combination of jump and booster jump. When doing stalls, stall variants like the Maktoff, and purple shots, he uses the jump button. And then he switches to booster jump when doing basically all other flips, be it mid freestyle or when taking shots. According to Jelly, this layout is extremely effective for him due to the flexibility of using both jump and booster jump, and the fact that he finds it easier to get timings right with his thumb than with his other fingers. Downsides include lack of vision caused by the four fingers obscuring your screen, and problems with boost management caused by the use of the booster jump button which can result in using too much boost. Overall, I think this is a really good button layout for anyone who has a lot of dexterity in their fingers. If you're used to playing really fast paced mobile games on touch, and you don't mind using four fingers, then definitely try out this control style. Thank you so much to Jelly for sharing his touch layout and hand cams with us for this video. If you guys are interested in connecting with Jelly or getting involved in the Sideswipe freestyling community yourself, check out Jelly's Discord server, Freestyling Factory, which is all about, you guessed it, freestyling and Sideswipe. Before we get into the next section, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play Sideswipe in a different region, say over with me in Japan, ExpressVPN is how you do it. I can tell you from experience it 100% works, and honestly, the ping's actually decent too. And right now, every single MOGS viewer is going to get a huge discount of 3 months off all 12 month subscriptions, meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. How good is that? So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen and in the video description. The next player on our list is Sakura, a top 10 touch player who regularly hits the number one spot on the leaderboard in 2v2s, and who apparently also needs some friends. So uh, quick guys, go add him on Discord. Here's a breakdown of Sakura's touch style. He uses a four finger style on a smartphone. It's a four button layout with joystick, jump, boost, and half air roll. On his left hand, the thumb is on joystick, and on the right hand, the thumb is used for boost, the index finger for jump, and the middle finger for half air roll. Here's a live demo of Sakura's touch style. Oh, 
According to Sakura himself, this style definitely takes some getting used to due to the awkward way you have to hold your right hand. Although apparently it wasn't too hard for him due to his salad finger like hands. Oh, and when doing things like stalls, instead of using the booster jump button as Jelly does, he just presses boost and jump at the same time. Honestly, for me, watching this hand cam reminds me of all the reasons I wish Sidesight was a console or PC game, cause that looks awkward as shit. But uh, yeah, if you are Salad Fingers himself, or you have super long fingers like Sakura, check this one out. Maybe this is the touch style for you. And the last touch layout we're gonna look at is from Justin, a player who's considered by many to be one of the best 1v1s players in the world, and who also has his own YouTube channel. On his channel, he regularly posts high level sideswipe gameplay and uh, some crate openings too. So go check out Justin's channel if you wanna see one of the best touch players in the world. Here's a breakdown of Justin's control style. He uses a four finger style on a tablet. It's a four button layout with joystick, boost, jump, and half air roll. On his left hand, the thumb is on joystick, and on his right hand, the thumb is on jump, the index finger is on boost, and the middle finger is on half air roll. Here's a clip of Justin in action. As you can see, Justin has an extremely interesting way of using his index finger and middle finger on his right hand. He mostly uses his middle finger for half air roll and his index finger for boost. And then sometimes he seems to take his index finger off boost and uses it for half air roll instead. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get precise info from Justin because he seems to have no idea what he's actually doing himself. But there you go, there's the touch layout used by one of the best touch players in the world. And that's it guys, that's my video about touch control layouts and hand cams. I really hope this video was helpful to all of you touch players. If it was, make sure to hit the like button as it really helps with the algorithm and comment below which layout you liked best. Also, let me know in the comments if you have your own touch style that you think is unique and if I like it enough, I might even make a video about it. And as usual guys, come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers, and check out my second channel if you want to see me play other games like most recently, LEGO Fortnite, as well as coming soon, Helldivers 2. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.